Um, my name is Marilyn John. I occupy this business for 24 odd years. My business is selling, as you can see, alcohol, cigarettes. I also do food. I do barbecue and stuff like that. As time goes by, I do karaoke. Now and again, when the place there, we had a little bingo and whatever activity I could do to help bring in an income. And how long you been here? 24 and add years. And um, you received a visit from the physical planning unit last week, right? Yeah. Well, all the up in, all the up in times I've been seeing them measuring the bridge and things like that, so I don't have an idea that some kind of they know the bridge going to be. But last week, Tuesday wasn't around and they brought. Um, they bought a letter. One of my sons was here. He received the letter stating that we have seven days notice to evacuate the place. Because they say they're going and rebuild the bridge and access to the road for school children. I don't have a problem with the government doing the projects because the project is a good thing. The bridge building over and making the place look. But then and the other end, the government have to think about people like we poor people who are here struggling. This is how we live, this is how we make our daily bread, our livelihood. And as I say, I have my kids, I have four sons, I have one going to school still, two grandsons, and in spite of everything, this is my children just live hand in hand. When they can't make it, I just look out for them, we just look out for one another. So this is our way of means of surviving. And it real hard for you just come and the government just come and say, seven days notice. Would they expect me to break down a structure like this in seven days and to put where? And after the seven days, what will become of us? What is what is my next move? I mean it really stressful and it real hard. I mean they I think they put in the people into consideration. Because as as I could see them they, they don't have it set. They live in so they didn't expect the smaller man to survive. And the people out there, they know you come from far, from a struggle, and leave one point and make a turn around and trying to live a, a decent life with it. And this is the this is the kind of frustration the government decide to come and put with you. It's not just me. It had the butcher style, it had the vegetable market over there, it had other shops below there. Approximately, how many people you see? Around about eight of us. About eight. Come tomorrow, what do you think is going to happen? Well, I you don't know what is going to happen, but I don't have intention of breaking down my structure. I don't have anywhere to put it. I don't have any. And the others as well going along with the yeah. same thing because you can't see tomorrow come, we just come and start a break down with place like that, and then we don't know. They say in the letter they, they, they're seeking some sort of compensation. And my problem is, is that this project, the government, would have have in mind for quite a while. They know this coming up, so you say, how they're preparing for the project. They're supposed to have things in place and things in mind for we can't wait till now. Now for now, you come with a seven days notice and then you ain't have a backup plan for we. I don't have a compensation ready for we. For the minute we break, well, we know, well, all right, this is this. We have something in hand so we could make a different, try and make a different turnover and means of how we're going set up themselves. They ain't give me no time for that. They ain't, they ain't concerned about it. That is how I see it. And mm -hmm. in spite of that, I have people who ain't just have structure up by paying light and paying a liquor license. I paying water. So all these things in place and for you get them permission, they have to go to the same London survey and get a letter from them to get the permission from Vinlick or however. So it's not like we just did in a shack when the time come we dig here with every bit of facilities paying them bills there when the time come we also paying a land tax so it would, this tax have on my name Marilyn John so I mean we ain't just dig here like dig here for you understand me we just put up a little shack there so I uh, have polling over something a polling over something so you could take it down in the evening and put it back up in the morning it's a shock shack here the government, I ain't they're dealing with the people I'm in the right. And 
we hoping they say they say by when we went Friday by Keith, he say he make some calls, he say um he calling for find out why is the procedure. He say he called four different persons, he didn't get any answers. He say by Monday, this morning, we outside then the Deputy Prime Minister Keith Francis and the traffic department was out there doing measurements still and wherever they have to do concerning and I mean they didn't even have the manners or the what you call it to come across and say like give me some comforting words as he said by Monday today's Monday and you're right out here so I think that was the appointed time for you come and say something to the people so they only spoke to you once you'd say well as I told you earlier I saw them doing measurements around the place right, so that give you an idea but they didn't really come in general and say 